three wire sensor. I have my five volt feed. That five volt feed, there's a fixed resistor inside the ECM. The only purpose of that is to protect the output wire. So now that sensor voltage goes out to a fixed resistor here, okay? Then it comes back and it has a ground inside the ECM. And then our AD converter inside the ECM, I'm gonna move this down a little bit to make it a little easier to understand and see. Now what I have is the sensor has a sweeper or a mechanical method that I can move across the resistor. The resistor is simply a piece of plastic with a coil of wire wrapped around it a bunch of times, a lot of times. Now, I have five volts going in here. I have a path to ground here. Same thing as this picture, five volts goes in and ground. Now, if I take a sweeper arm and I just drag it up and down like this, like if I had a potentiometer, a throttle potentiometer in the end of the throttle shaft, if I rotate the throttle shaft, I could move an arm up and down this resistor. Because it's a coil of wire, it uses up the voltage. So five volts goes in, and this is going to use the voltage up in the coil. And then four, three, two, one, and ultimately zero volts at ground. So wherever the sweeper arm is touching the resistor, it is going to read the voltage potential at that given point, and then that goes back to an 80 converter inside the ECM, which reads that. So now what we have is we have the three wires. The three wires are five volt feed, our signal wire, and our ground which we can also call return in some books. So ground also may be called return. Don't confuse return with signal. Return is ground. I got, did that when I was younger, all right? So basically now what you have is you have a mechanical sensor that mechanically is moving this sweeper arm back and forth across the resistor. If the sweeper arm is up here, then five volts, let's say half a volt gets used up, you'd read four and a half volts. If my sweeper arm is way down towards the bottom, the resistor would use up four and a half volts. Maybe I see 0.5 volts, okay? There is a threshold range between the highest point and the lowest point that the sensor can read, and that's okay voltage. If I go too high, in other words, the sensor goes too close to five volts or too close to zero volts, that's a fault code. DTCs are called fault codes, diagnostic trouble codes. That's where we get into codes tab. So five volt feed, your signal wire, your ground. All right, I'll do the four wire next, real quick. So draw this out because you're gonna need to do a little bit of a homework assignment after this. I'll post this on Canvas. It will be in the to-do list. So our two-wire sensor portion is this. We go out, we have a variable resistor. This is our ECT temperature sensor. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my three-wire sensor down here. Here's the ECM again. Notice that we're sharing a ground already, okay? Here is my three-wire portion of my three-wire sensor. Here's my signal wire. So, I have my signal wire. Here's my AD converter, where I'm reading the voltage for my two-wire sensor, okay? So basically, I have my signal wire here. I have my ground, which is shared by the two sensors. Inside the sensor, it's shared. That's why it's called a four-wire sensor. 
This is the map portion of the sensor or manifold absolute pressure sensor, which reads the air intake pressure inside the intake. Okay, we'll get to that more later. So, four wires, your signal, your ground for your two wire sensor, your five volt feed, your signal wire, which is the signal back, and your ground. There's your four wires, okay? That's a one wire, two wire, three wire, and four wire sensor. 